guest this morning on this subject is Henry Fawn. He's head of the private office for the Real Estate Guys, Knight Frank, here in the Middle East. Henry, it's lovely to speak to you again. Good morning. Brandy, good morning. It's a pleasure to speak with you too. What is the uh, the immediate impact, your first take on what this new lockdown, particularly in England, could mean for those who own property or want to own property in the UK? Now, this lockdown, Brandy, in particular, is a little bit different to last time round. Uh, the UK property market it still remains open. Transactions could still take place. And with the key safety measures and uh, social distancing steps that we take throughout all of our viewings and inspections, we're still able to conduct viewings in the new norm way. That's if an investor from here is able to or indeed willing to get there though, isn't it, Henry? Yes, we often find these days, Brandy, that a digital viewing is what's uh, encouraged in the first instance. So perhaps we can go to a property and have a look around it on a live stream or even make a pre-recorded video to ensure that those that may want to travel to the property in the future certainly do like that property already. What are you expecting this latest lockdown and the the sentiment, the emotions around it? um, What are you expecting it to have in terms of effect on demand for property and, and what kind of properties? Demand has been changing, not so much perhaps for this latest lockdown, but throughout the year, Randy, in the previous lockdown and now. And we've actually seen some demand increasing, more so for properties with outside space in particular. Outside space in cities, in suburbs, in secondary cities? Now, if a property in the centre of a city, in the centre of London, for example, does have some outside space, that's fantastic. Uh, We have seen many of our clients looking for a property a little bit further out, where perhaps for the same price point, they can afford a house. That house might have even a private garden to the back of it. What about prices, Henry? Uh, Prices on the whole, Brandy, have remained steady throughout. We have actually seen in the past few months a mini boom since the market reopened. And Halifax recently released their information on their statistics for the UK market, suggesting that the average property prices in the UK year on year have increased 7.5%. Now, I would say more specifically, we've seen some key areas in outer London, which have also jumped as well. So the housing markets in Richmond and Wimbledon, Dulwich and these sort of places that have easy access into the centre of London have also seen very strong demand. How much of that, though, is also to do with the stamp duty holiday and the deadline on that? Certainly for the wider UK market, the stamp duty holiday has been key. That's running now for a couple more months. Uh, and certainly encourages the saving of up to £15,000 on the transactional closing costs. So once that does close, will we see a drop in demand? I wouldn't necessarily see a a drop in demand, but perhaps those that are looking for a property today, Brandy, we are certainly encouraging, as best we can do, to get those transactions through and across the line uh, between now and the end of the holiday. So what are your clients here, Henry, actually asking you? What are their concerns? Uh, Concerns have recently been around, uh, can they even travel to the UK and view? Again, we all know and understand the travel restrictions. Asking about the safety as well. And I do explain to them fully through our our precautionary measures that we have in place to keep both those that are viewing and other occupiers and the Knight Frank team safe throughout. And what do you see investors here doing? Are they holding those properties? Are they acquiring more properties? What's happening? Uh, For now, we're seeing investors holding the properties, Brandy. Perhaps those that have even bought properties historically with us are now looking to rent them out. If they're no longer able to travel to the UK, perhaps for the coming few months or so, maybe they're looking to stay here in the Middle East, but they would like to get some income from their properties, so we're assisting them with renting those properties out. Henry Fawn, head of the private office for the Property Guys, Knight Frank, here in the Middle East, speaking to us about the potential effect of those UK lockdowns.